call the meeting to order. First on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Any additions, or are we good to approve as written? Good to approve as good. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Ellie decided she doesn't need her appointment, so we will skip that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the thing is, we may have this meeting done before seven. So, yeah, <laughs> you wish. You wish. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now yeah, of course. Now it's all over with the crime. So, I did put some stuff on the table for you, which is just uh, when we get to the skate park, we'll talk about it. But there's um, at each of your seat placement, there's a new packet there. So budget discussion wise, last time we had talked about. Do you want to do public comment or not? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, public comment. If there's anybody that has anything, um, just see Owen out there. Other than that, so if there's anything anybody wants to bring up that's not on the agenda, now would be the time. With all the snow that just hit and. All the power is huh? So I'm good. Not a thing. All right. They're, they're coming out at midnight tonight. Yep. I, so they'll be out tonight cleaning all of them. I did notice there's four vehicles out there right now that don't look like they're going anywhere between now and midnight. Yeah, they may get <laughs> totally. get it cleaned off and we'll get them. Yeah, that's part of the parking permit. They have yeah. to move. We could yeah, there's home. a couple of them out there. So just or they'll pack them in one of the two. <laughs> so um but yeah, they did. So um, yeah, so he'll they'll be out at midnight tonight. All right. So last time we had left our discussion. Um, well, we had changed a few things. Last time we had our discussion, we had what we call the 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 base um, draft of the budget. And then we had two additives at that point. If if voters approve the additional twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars for the library, yep. And then, um, what was the other one? Um, we had the additional the sheriffs. Constable. Well, we had actually, yeah, it showed what that would be. Yeah, I changed uh, the constable, and I had to tweak. As I said, I was going to. I tweaked the insurance numbers because I had VLCT passives updated bill, so I tweaked the insurance a little bit. And that would have affected every department, some up, some down, but not big. And added, uh, we got a dumpster at the road department finally. So I added that, 744 bucks. But so, we, so I removed the line for the sheriff's department on the constable and did the 20 hours a week at $28 an hour. And that, of course, changes Social Security, Medicare, mm -hmm. workers' comp, et cetera. So that brings you to 65,131. Okay. Um, And I think that was really it. We're still talking about Warba. I have an email out to Steve Webster. He emailed me. They're currently having their Warba meeting. Dave Algergetti was texting me, telling me they were talking about it. And I said, well, I'm sure Steve will talk to me tomorrow. So um, that question is still out there about the increase from last year to this year. But So I won't have an answer for you until I hear from Steve. Um, Webster brain cramp <laughs> and uh, anyways I did figure obviously the first part of the year the trick is Warva operates on a calendar year so he came up with his numbers based on his $72 per capita uh -huh. which was fine totally no problem and then they give you an additional six months at the higher rate which is what we're you know we're going to be paying in June but so I wrote to him and asked him, you know, how did you like, what's your per capita rate going to be for next year? So we can look at that. So for us, it's a 10% increase. Um, so we're at the 153. So I just need, he's going to answer some questions tomorrow. So their comment that was the same as ours, basically that it's payroll and benefits that mm -hmm. it's killing them. It's killing us. It's hard to find trained, you know, medics or to get them trained. And then the insurance and stuff is high. So that's what they're working on too. So where we currently sit with the budget wise, um, the the sheet that um, 
that Trees had in there included so the, the rate increase, which is about just a hair over three pennies, included the additional library funds if yeah, approved. This page. So if you take if you take out the library, then our budget right now is is up uh just under two and a half cents from last year, which remember last year ended up being level funded because the um because the grand list had rose um higher than we had thought. So so it, it still carries uh two and a half and we were one and a half. So four cents over three years is what the adjustment has been. And I, I know in the past we talked about kind of a three cent kind of yep. consistent increase. Mm -hmm. Um that also accounts for the extra money that we put into the um oh capital highway yeah the forty-five thousand to to keep up with our matching grants that we have out there that we have to do over the next two years the, the highway revitalization yeah it's called Re rehabilitation yep, highway yeah yeah yep so that you had added ten thousand yeah, somebody asked, asked me about that and i i'm um, yeah, it's well, basically like a capital roads plan. So yeah, right. That's where all the all of our grants. Okay, will that's go what through. that is. Yeah, and right. so that was the plus the sidewalk. Yeah, ten for sidewalks plus. Right. Okay. The extra forty-five. And, yeah. and that includes the uh, money we're receiving from the sale of the land. The sale of the landfill right. money. Yeah. So that is that's holding our budget down. It is. Yep. It will for the next three years. And. Okay. That's why Chris wanted to put it into the capital fund instead of increasing other lines. Because once you do that, you own it. Whereas with the capital fund, you could and the, get away with that. Would that show? That's not showing up on our revenue sheet that we have. That front page. Yeah. It um, be. The the um, the sale of the transfer station. Yeah, yeah it is. Be on the second page. It's on the second. Um, first page. Oh, oh, yeah. First page. He's right. Proceeds of BRTS sale under local revenues. It's on the first page. Like six. Wait, oh, okay. six Wait, lines now. The 54, 5, oh, 60. I have a different version from that. I don't know. This is but the one I emailed your, to everybody. Did you say draft to December 15th? Yeah, 12 15. Because I this is the one I emailed that. everybody. It's. Did you the go way has columns I don't have? Did you go all the way to the right? Yeah. These are it's in the first column. That's okay. I'm gonna share with Dave now because he likes <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Dave Eddie's copy is what I've got. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I scanned was I wrote Dave Eddie's copy and then I'm like, oh, I gotta scan this. Everybody's getting Dave Eddie's. Yeah, copy. this doesn't say Dave Eddie's copy at the top. I don't know. You all got the same email, Lindley, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's a uh, ha ha ha. It's sideways. That's what's throwing it off. Cool. Okay. I found it. <laughs> I don't have to share with you now. Okay. So, so the theory was to, like we were saying, we have the proceeds for the next four more years of yep. the um, transfer station, but at the same time, we have about two years worth of grant matching money that we need to come up with for, for the four grants that we've gotten. Um, so I guess in that, basically we've taken that money to use towards our grant match that, won't affect us it's three not, years from now. It's not an ongoing budget. Right. It, it would be something that would only be for... That's just... <laughs> if we did the same way next year, it'd be like this budget and the next budget would absorb that. Well, there's also, in theory, and hopefully no more ERAP after a point. So we're, we're sort of right, right that on ERAP, that stage. Right, yeah. So that's also a big chunk more. that will yeah. go away. That's what, 44000 yeah. that we're still paying. Yeah, I and mean, it depends on what the, you know, if the final bridge comes in at... 1.2 million it's gonna you know we're slow i've been doing that after this yeah time. but so in, mm -hmm. in theory we have a few things that could potentially kind yeah. of offset that right. skew it too the other thing too was i we were talking remember we kind of went back and forth about the repairs and parts mm -hmm. and um so i had mentioned i don't know perhaps to all of you that the international blew a head gasket mm -hmm. yeah we just got that bill Today we'll get it fixed. We'll be back by Friday. So, uh, twenty two thousand dollars. So when we talk about unexpected repairs, it's thank God we just moved twenty thousand from the ARPA money into that fund. But there it goes. That's so we had a plan to use it for something else, but it's what happens. Yeah, that's the 
No, it's the or it's the six. It's the one that does your route. Yeah, the six, six wheeler. wheeler. Yeah. yeah, well, I think of little truck as the other one, but yeah, they, it was okay. The baby, okay. <laughs> the baby truck. So yeah. So anyways, that'll be. So that's you know this is what happens. So yeah, yeah, twenty two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's at Clark's in Burlington. I know. I do not get paid enough for what I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. So just so you know, so that's, you know, when you're talking about this, you can talk about these things. This is what happens. So yep. We haven't even had time to, oh, well, to, we have an idea what it is, but the guys are going to fix it themselves. They just didn't, they don't have time today, tomorrow, hopefully later in the week, but um, yes. So they had a couple of escapades, the pump in the God bless Dave Eddie for trying, uh, the fuel pump, you know, they get fuel, they have an underground tank and the motor dies in the, so we don't know. What well, they think maybe that's it. They, we got somebody bad. coming, something bad happened. So to quote Morgan, he said, he called me up and he said, well, we read next something. We got it to work. Then he calls me basically today. He said, it died. but I had talked to his Charlie SCV oil and they have someone coming to look at it, to figure it out. They still didn't have power last I knew. So it doesn't um, have a manual option on that pump. You'd have to ask Dave. Because a lot of pumps have a manual option. No. That one doesn't have. Huh? So 1929 model. Yeah. So it should be just <laughs> manual then. It should be no electric. <laughs> no. Electric what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was going to work on yeah. it. It's all hard. Yeah. I said, there's a lot of the, way above my finger. So we went to, they went to sh to Champlain Farms to get diesel. They're out. Yeah. So then Morgan called Dylan, or not Dylan, excuse me, Dan McCullough. And he's like, yeah, go ahead, charge it. So they, <laughs> it's it's just been a lot. And then um, there was a minor accident. Um, nothing that insurance claim will fix. We have a spare plow blade. So that's on now, but we made an insurance claim. So that may be like a thousand dollar deductible, but no one was injured. Um but the truck had one of its episodes. This is the truck we're trading and it hasn't been diagnosed yet. We've replaced three computers and it just died and the plow was down and it kicked Paul over. He said he hit a little bit of ledge, not hard, but enough to do some damage to the plow. But this is what happens. Sometimes you're driving along and the thing just powers down. So luckily, hopefully we have the new truck to replace that by February. And um, so... Good thing we're we're now taking a ride with him. Yes, you would have been. Yeah, that you would have got more than you bargained for. Plus, you aren't riding with him. You're going with AJ, so oh, you got the oh, okay. better truck, the new one. So it was definitely um, challenging. Well, it's but... probably one of the toughest storms. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. this is typically this would be like the toughest storm of the year usually. I mean, yeah. with how heavy and big it was. Yeah. What? I mean, yeah. well, and wait, but the storm Friday is probably going to be really bad. It is. All it's those all those back roads are just going to be an ice rink. They are. And, and you're not even going to be able to do anything about it because you put anything down, it's not going to hold any grit. No. People are just going to have to stay home there. Well, I'll tell you, Friday. my back road is great right now. Yeah. It's <laughs> nice and smooth. <laughs> not, <laughs> no ruts. <laughs> 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 it's best yeah. it's been in six yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be an ice rink. Yeah, yeah, because Morgan said Saturday. the only thing you do is you just keep going around and around. You just waste, you just waste product. But I will tell you this is uh -huh. there is still wet snow in the trees and once that gets ice on it we're going to have more power outages so if you do not live if you live in vermont you should have a secondary heat source buy a generator or make a plan now to go somewhere early thursday yeah well you know what and or if they don't have a secondary heat source yeah or go to uh, make arrangements to go somewhere now before the storm hits yeah, there was so many people mm -hmm. that I talked to this weekend. Like, I don't know if we've just been spoiled or it was just it seemed like it was the first snowstorm that they ever in Vermont have witnessed. And it's <laughs> like, well, this is, you know, like someone had asked me late yesterday that they haven't had power in two days. And should they, what should they do about their water? I'm like, well, you're, you're a day late now. And yeah. like that, you know, after you have, you know, a day of cold. I mean, you should, yeah, you should bleed your lines and 
20 volt generators on this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. Well, I think that it's, you know, it's always that way with the first storm. I think people just, whatever. And it, we have had some warm weather, so. Well, we're thinking that three Saturday was, you know, eight inches or whatever, and then it stopped. So it was kind of like, well, yeah, okay, that's it. That's good. Mm. And then you get up Sunday morning. And it's, that other stuff was the same thing again. Really, heavier. really heavy. Yeah, it was yeah, very it was heavy built. for sure. Yeah. It was challenging because it was lines down. There was really? roots or blocks. So you couldn't plow everything. And it was, sand everything yeah. and couldn't, you know, uh, people we, were trapped in at yeah. no fault of ours. Plus, this is hard on equipment. I mean, pushing heavy, wet snow is hard on equipment. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So. And we have a new employee and uh, he's trial by fire, but Curtis did really well and um, hung right in there. So I think he, you know, and it's tough too when you have a, he's using a smaller truck and sometimes you have to plow down because you can't plow up when it's so heavy and wet, but he did, he did well. So I'm um, so, really happy about Teresa, that. I want to comment is I, I heard positive things um, just in general about the plow, plowing the sidewalks downtown. Yep. I would say we're still not doing a great job on the entrances for cross uh, right. crosswalks. There's, I think, when I walked through it, at least at some point on Saturday, there was one crosswalk that was cleared. Yeah. And the rest were full banked up. You yeah. Know, and you I think get through them. I um, think that's part of it is that they're down two trucks. Yeah. So they have the greater out and it, you know, they'll deal with it all tonight. And no, I know. And I, I, yeah. it's more for moving forward for future storms of remembering those. I know they kind yeah. of just go through and clear the sidewalks all the way down and then, but then it's coming back and clearing for the crosswalks. Yeah. I'll talk to them about so it. Whoever's doing the sidewalks, just make sure that we have the crosswalk. Yeah. If they <laughs> yeah. Dresses, it, whoever draws the short straws, who's on the sidewalk. And, and that can be done with a shovel, shovel. Like getting out of the seat and standing and up. And we did talk about that right. last year. So, but we have a new road foreman now. So I'll talk to yeah. Morgan about and it. And I think I, I heard across the board, people were happy with, the plowing of the sidewalks downtown it was really just the crosswalks did you see were... sunday there was nose cars parked on oh it was checked it was not a single car parked that long i know they were parked at the white church yeah see they made it i came through i said look at that it only took some snow banks <laughs> but yeah. i'm going down and she's waving and then Oh my God! Yeah, the sidewalks are so slick. They are slick. Yeah. So yeah, that was it for the budget changes. Not a lot of, um, you know, there. Obviously, too. Keep in mind that whatever the rec department or not department rec committees ask is the only thing in the budget right now is still is just the ten thousand dollars that was in there last year. So that's also not figured into this tax rate. So yeah. just keep that in mind. We got that as. A warning. I have it as a warning, but I don't have it right, right. in the budget. Yeah, right, just so right, right. everybody. So I've got it as a placeholder. Th this budget version has the um, our proposed idea for the constable of twenty eight looking at the increase rate, but this is not something we've decided on. This was just to view it as what it would look like budgetary. Right. It okay. seemed like just I just wanted to confirm that that was not a decision okay. budgetary. No, you seem yeah. to have some consensus there, but um, but yeah, that's what's in here. We okay. we. Because you could, as we said, even if we couldn't get more constable coverage, we could always bring in the share for like a day a week or something. But we still needed to build right. more so in the budget. That bigger budget could still. Yeah. So that's how you got okay. here. We still need to throw the bait out there. Let's see, see if we can find somebody. Well, uh, once we get consensus on this, then I'll have a conversation. I've had one with Oscar, but I'll have another one with Oscar and one with Justin and see what our commitment is. I know that... Um, Oscar, they have someone there and they have someone else maybe going through the academy. So he's looking at some freed up time, but um, then we'll see what else with Justin and Oscar, if he can't Oscar, you know, there may be, there's definitely somebody else out there. So. But I think the goal is after town meeting day, the budget's mm -hmm. approved is to approach both. Contracts. I want to approach them both before. And lay, lay out what we're asking for, for a commitment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, beef, it, it, and if they can't fill definitely. their commitment, then we'll, yeah. potentially of filling that yeah. role yeah and, and then we could go right. to print at that point like yeah you know with a higher wage and have it in the budget to yeah to do that and oscar is aware of it i haven't spoken to justin in a year so um 
and well, uh, I'll get him in here and talk to him. So I would like to, you know, let him know before that, because we still have some room in this budget. So they could, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. we could do more sooner if we can. So, so is everybody okay with currently the way the budget is uh, it's up just less than two and a half cents uh, with potentially the addition of the library component, which would be another like one and a quarter cent if everybody. But we don't, we're not really, I'm not really thinking about that because that's a, a, a town's person choice. We're not presenting a budget that high. Right. That they got to right. vote. We're presenting a 2.38 right. That's cent where, that's where I'm at, where I think, where I'm, mm -hmm. where I'm probably at. Yeah. Well, we're we're proposing it. Well, at least with this draft, we're proposing a two point three eight cent yeah. increase. That's based on the grand list currently of, you know, two one five eight million. Mm -hmm. um, the grand list could move a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it will. It, there's still some room for it to go up a little bit. So, possibly. I mean, obviously, it's so tough to have a house like throwing a dart at it. So it is because the house there's. <laughs> Not much. The grand list? In the budget? We try to keep the budget increase under 3% or around 3%. And we would... We well, the last... The last... Well, if you if you counted this one, then it would be a total of about $0.04 cents over three years. So it's been... But last year, we had presented about a 2.5 cent increase, but the grand list went up at such a fashion that it it canceled that you're talking spend and she's talking percentage well they're pretty similar the, because of the uh, yeah it's, it's helpful me if we're, we're consistent yeah i talk sense because that makes sense. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's money at that point and, and i can figure out what that is uh at home i just want yeah. to yeah. be consistent yeah so that we're so i think that's what three and a half percent increase what you said so. i think so about that yeah. so okay. yeah but uh, so the grand list has been up uh, and it fluctuates because if you know you lost a house recently so that obviously comes off the grand list and but as things change and we're going to start our townwide reappraisal in july so um so, so on the reappraisal is that consistent it's going to be a what two-year process yes I mean, yeah. anyway two at least from so does the grand list gradually change as the reappraisal is happening or does it all happen at once at the end when they come up with a big number? There you go. Anything okay. happens. So it wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't be fair to people who get reappraised right. first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so, and, and, you know, the good news is here is, and, and Rick can certainly correct me if I'm wrong, is it's going to, it will, I don't want to say fix, correct a couple of things. When you have maybe people that maybe need more depreciation in their home because their home is older. It'll straighten out, uh, bring more land schedules into balance. Also too, say, to say you have a home and maybe, and we don't know about it because we don't have a zoning permit and you've gutted and redone the whole inside. So you have new kitchen, new whole thing. We don't know anything about this. So your bank paying taxes based on what we thought you had. Yeah. 10 years ago. Now, when someone comes in and measures square footage and looks at things, you're going to be paying a little more. So people always think their taxes are going to go up, but if their home has more depreciation, you know, some things are kind of straightened out. But yes, of course, the market recently has been kind of crazy. So how does it work then after year one of the reappraisal to come around to grand list time again? It's Does just the grand list freeze during reappraisal. No, I think it would affect. It's, it doesn't freeze because it's normal, like zoning permits, regular stuff, yeah. like we do every year. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, so just, that would just be regular. We'll call it regular change. And then after the reappraisal goes out, then everybody gets a new reappraisal, and um, that's when people can come in if they choose, and they can meet with the listers and the people who do the you know, to have any grievance or, um, <clears throat> so they go to the lister and board of listers first and then if that doesn't get resolved there then obviously they go as you know they go to the bca yeah, so. yeah that two-year process is just an evaluation period of yeah of, of all the homes in, in the township and then and then then it establishes the new baseline to start from yeah there. because if you're trying to get into it you know i want to say 80 percent of the homes but i'm not even sure they went will go you know that high but mm -hmm. you do certainly try to get into as many homes as possible so yeah and, and that basically is a redistribution of the tax burden it is not a 
it, it doesn't lower the expenses of the town or increase the right. expenses of no. the town. Right, and exactly. It's just that your personal tax rate might go up or down depending on the yep. grand list. Depending, mm -hmm. on, yeah. depending on the list and depending right. on the prop your property's value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. In relation to everybody else. Yeah, and, and there's still two people, you know, will have the ability to come in and talk to somebody if they want to, you know, if they get a number or something. So it's mm -hmm. always kind of, kind of a give and take. Right. Okay. All right. So everybody else set with it for now? So is there any changes you need to make to the budget before you see it again in January? No, but what's their deadline? Um, you're going to sign the warning on January 23rd. So, so we have to have the budget by then. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. So, I mean, we must be pretty close right now if you don't want me to do anything to it. So, yeah. um, I mean, I I'm so that's good. Yeah. That's great news. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're pretty close. Good. Okay. And then, warning wise. Okay. So, I sent it to Rick to look at today. Sorry about that, Rick. I meant to send it to you last week to see about. I reworded the um, number six Lister, yeah. and number nine to the to elect by ballot a lister to serve the one year balance of a three year term. Um, and then I did the same thing on nine to elect a trustee under to serve the one year balance of a three year term. Oh, and I said to succeed Paul, whose term expires in 2024. I wonder if I should have said the same thing on pan, under the lister, whose term expires in. It might be nice to yeah, put I, the year that I, yeah, expires. I, should, I, just, I just caught that. I know, I know typically I don't think in our town we have done that before, but I know like the school uses the 2025, 2024, whatever the So her, that year time is. also expired in 2024. Yeah. A lister, a balance of a, Yeah. Um, I added the library because they were in agreement to that. Mm. Um, I updated the number to Warva, but that could be changed. And then, Paul, when did you say you're going to have the social service appropriation? Um, she hasn't now. Oh. I gave it to her last week. Oh, we have a little, um, uh, you know, an exchange about health hub and stuff to resolve, but that's all resolved now. And I gave Kelly the figure. Oh, okay. So I'll get the social service numbers from Kelly. Okay, perfect. If you Thank need, you know, if, if no, so, she should just be. let me know if you need them. Yeah, and she I should. I kept copies. Okay. Any perfect. big changes? No, we had uh, a few that did not submit requests, and um, we had a couple that we gave additional funds to. So we're a little bit down from last year in total uh, commitments. Okay. Um. So, Rick, on page two, I put the transact under 16, and then I renamed that Australian ballot article, Article 1. So do you think that looks okay, or do you think that looks clumsy? I don't know where you want 17. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a little tough there. <laughs> I could put it after. I don't know which. <laughs> Historically, you know, you always said uh, other business as the very last thing. Yeah. But I think if it's if I uh, announce that we're going to discuss the Australian uh, the last thing. All right, because I can move it after 17 after article one. That's specifically why I called them articles. Mm -hmm. So I can move it down if you want. Usually if I would say non binding business, half the people are standing and walking. So that's one. We okay. Might want to do that. Then I'll move it. Okay. Move right. it to after. Yep. Yeah, I'll move it to after. Um, polls should polls open. All right. Okay. We'll I'll move it. And the other thing I caught after I sent you the uh, email earlier was that I think we talked about it after last meeting to put the word add the word additional on. Um, uh, Oh yeah. For eleven and yes, thank you. Appropriate up to yeah. an additional. Yes, thank you. Just so they know that that's that's an addition to what the budget already has for them. All right, thank you. See, it takes a village, really. <laughs> thank you. 
Yeah, I'm like, oh. All right, perfect. Um, also, Teresa, I noticed on the uh, uh, Motley mm -hmm. website that yeah. you're having a, uh, uh, a little one hour seminar on the morning. Okay. And January 11th. Yeah, okay. 10 to 11. Yeah, and I printed this out and went from their, right. you know, thing, but yeah. they're doing it on the 11th. All right, I'll take, I'll write it down and look. 10 to 11, is that what you said? No, January 11th. 11, from 10 to 11. From 10 to 11. Oh, 10. Hour oh okay. Thing. So, All right. It just, you know, doesn't hurt to... No, thanks. I'll, I'll look at it. VLCT. All right, I'll make a note to look at it. So, yeah, no, I just printed out that and went by there because it was a little combination. I'm like, it's a little funky this year. <laughs> right. They, all have, they also have something about um, Australian ballots. So I think that's 18th, maybe? Could be. I get so many emails from them a day that honestly, sometimes they just sit there in the queue until I go back and reread them, but I'll look. Okay. And did you get the, the tune up? Because sometimes, I haven't still, seen that out because you usually do that. Yeah. It's usually in February. And I don't think they just said that February because everything was up to the end of January. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Did the select board have any questions on the morning? Still all good to use the school and whatnot. Touch yeah. Base with them. I didn't, but I think Pam did. All right. Seven oh four. Perfect time. Just made it, Ellie. Four minutes. All right. Thank you. Um, okay. All right. Thanks, Rick, for looking at that. Yeah. All right. Recreation committee. So that was. So I put this on your. Uh, I got this drawing from. Um, Kyle Cartwright, uh, he emailed me, I emailed him back. And so on your um, on your chairs there at the top is the recreation reserve account. Same thing I'd given you last time, same thing Nellie has. Um, <clears throat> I left the skate park revenue alone and then the cost estimate for phase two, since the square footage was gonna go down to 1327, I just multiplied it by the 65 square feet, left the excavation estimate of 16,560 alone minus the land water conservation match, minus the 38, 30, 15 of fundraising extra that they have, um, left them with a funds needed to construct phase two at the 13, 1,327 square feet is 48,984.85. And um, attached to this is um, the rec committee's breakdown of the proposal and then a nice little drawing from Shane Kinsley and Kyle Cartwright is on is in here too. So you can visualize the old versus the new. So it's very helpful. Working and planning and working with them and doing work to um to be on budget. So that you know that we can work with the figure. Um, and Therese said that she did get the paperwork and the land water conservation grant. Yep. So it's here. Yeah, that just came today, so I haven't read it yet. Um, the grant agreement or signed it, but it did come today finally. Ellie and I were laughing. So Colin Chin has worked very hard on making sure that we could really build it next summer within the framework of the, uh, the figures that Colin Chin grew up, they've um, been talking to Michael Parker, he's a very good person that he he works with us and, and adjusts uh, and knows that, you know, we're limited resources, so. I expect to see the, the same kind of back and forth with Michael a little bit as we're, as we're sharpening our pencil and he's giving us feedback on how, how close we are to hitting the number we can both work with. Um, this is, I would say, a ceiling build. This is what we're hoping to build. If we do a little more fundraising, this should be this should be doable. Uh, we think Michael can work with us to make that happen. But if he can't, it'll be pared down slightly just 
reducing the size of the features like we did last time just to get it within our, our dollar window. So I, I expect to see some back and forth, which should be entirely normal uh, for this, for at least it was normal last time. And I'm all, I use this higher square footage price of 65 just to, you know, yep. make it work. And then um, I had an estimate that I got uh, from the same guy who excavated for you last time, the 16,560. So that should still be good. I just kept it the same because really 1,400 square feet versus 1327. Yeah, I just said, I'm going to leave it alone. Land water conservation match minus 50,000. Then minus the fundraising leaves you guys still 48,984. So basically $49,000 short. So this, that's the bigger version though, that's too close mm -hmm. to the power line. No, they, they if you look at their drawing, it's changed they, the configuration. They tell, changed? Yes, because. Okay. Because okay. that's, and Kyle and I yeah. emailed because. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, they came out, uh, let's see, on bait, it looks like he came out 16 feet by 72. So, because yeah, they can't cross that power line. Right. Did you get a chance to see the flags? I, I took pictures, I faced it off a little bit too. Uh, I, stepped, I took four big steps from the, the red dotted line yeah. toward the skate park. Yeah. And except for the near corner that's rounded in the image, yeah. uh, we could have come out 20 feet from Yeah, from it's just that, it much. was that one corner. Yeah. So and as long as we round that, that near corner and do superficial sidewalk or something like that, I think we'd be okay. Yeah, because you can't be like, I gave Kyle the framework of the easement that you can't be within. Um, yeah. Feet. 10 feet of the yeah 10 feet on each side of the center line of the installed conduits and um so and because he had emailed me so i emailed him that to let him know what your width was and then i asked him i said where is this sidewalk going because we can't put the sidewalk over the conduit either so i was confused because i'd never seen a layout so well, he included this, the this is the placeholder sidewalk it can wrap around the arc and still be more than 10 feet away from the uh, the underground uh, or it could be on the the back side okay uh, on the property boundary side all right because i sent him the because he also wanted the language of the land water conservation grant so i sent him because you have to, obviously without yep. the fifty thousand because it buy you have to get that in there so i did send him that language too so that way he knew what the easement said and what the the grant said so that you were operating within there but so i just had one question ellie you just you said that you're working within your budget well yeah what budget yeah but i mean you're still fifty thousand short so so i was just curious yeah once i take your cost of multiply out your skate park build yeah well not if we we're asking for 30,000. If you ask for 30, are you going to fundraise 18,000 more? Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll keep working. Oh. Yeah. That's just too bad because I know you guys have done a lot of fundraising right. so far. Yeah. So. so, you know, we're asking. Yeah, I didn't know if you'd scale it back. If yeah, I, if, if, for, if that's too much and, and if that's the case. As, as we get closer, closer to actual groundbreaking. Right. If we don't have good visibility on yeah. on actual funds that we know are coming in, we'll we'll certainly pare it down. Yeah. So it could be it or you could go to third town town meeting. Well, they haven't got we haven't gotten that far. Yeah, gotten that that far yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just curious if you had yeah. something. Else. So All right. we're trying to we're trying to figure out. Yeah. Because we want to stay within our budget. If you're saying we're over, then then again we'll keep working and pare it down. But yeah. We'll, but we still want to okay. um, either have money for the improvement fund or make a case to the to the town. So the uh, conservation grant, land yeah. water conservation. And when does that have? When's the expiration date on I don't know. I just barely printed out the document today, and I have not had a chance to read. It. I just told Ellie when she got it that it finally showed up. So I don't know yet. I I didn't even. I mean, typically, they're like two years. Honestly, this is taking forever. We we were granted two years, ago. and they did yeah. barely send us the grant document today. Yeah. Well, you know, I might be able to check my email and see if I can tell so, you. So I didn't even. So, yeah. 
So we did it today. And, and Michael Parker has his on, penciled in on, on his schedule um, to do it the next year, 2024. And so if we can, it, 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 it'd be super, super wonderful that we get this project done and then we have the time and energy for the other projects. You know, we have other projects. So, so, so basically we just want to figure it out so that we can build it in 2023. Okay. So if I have my numbers right. So the the total work for this phase two is in rough numbers between eighty one thousand and one hundred six thousand total, depending on the um, the estimates, the the high versus the low. Yeah. And then the uh, current uh, the current revenue that they have is right here. Is about. Fifty-eight thousand. No, fifty-three. Fifty-three eight three fifty. Okay, these numbers don't add up. So they no. This is we. I started with this. Subtract. This is comes down to what she had left because you see some are additions and some are subtractions. So what happens is she. I did this on the land water conservation. She had to pay some stuff back. But anyways. She has $3,830.15 plus her $50,000 land water conservation grant. Okay. If you build this skate park at $65 a square foot, it's that cost plus this is the price I got from Dylan McCullough. Then, so, this, so they're at 40. All right, here we go. I can see the grant. Let me tell you what it says. It says award end date is September 30th, 2024. Oh, so <laughs> I looked at I was still in my email. So, okay, so about two years. Yeah, so we weren't, well, Ellie and I didn't know because. Oh, that's good. Um, September 2024. September 30th. Yeah, so they let us, I wasn't, we didn't know what we were going to get because it's taken them two years just to get her the paperwork. So this is, um, and then in your last packet, I gave you the, fi the whole finances of. Yeah. The recreation spreadsheet, I think it said you had 80. So there, I can look on the website. So they're anywhere between 27000 and $52,000 away from constructing it. They're $48,000, 900. They're well, I'm using like the low versus the high. Oh, low. So, oh, well. They could be as low as 27000 but could be as high as 52000 Well, if you, the only way this is, yeah, the way it's going to change is if he doesn't charge him 65 square dollars a square foot and he charges them um, $50 a square foot. So if you multiply 15 bucks times, which I can do right now, I'll tell you what the difference is, but 16, 17 pounds. So you're not, you know, it's still a. I, I think the point I'm getting to is the 30,000 in capital funds that they're asking for. If we decide on that would be doable at the low rate, low end of the scale. However, if it came in at the high end of the scale, you'd still need a additional twenty two thousand dollars in mm. revenue to make that work but i guess yeah mm -hmm. crunching the numbers in my head yeah 66 yeah. 350 at 50 dollars a square and then it's not going to change this estimate of 16 560 that's going to remain the same so that leaves you 82 9 10 minus the 50 you're at 32, 9, 10, minus some change. So, yeah, that's it. Yes. Dave, that's right. So, your options are um, you can make, you can, you as a select board can make a motion and give them allocate money out of the Recreation Improvement Fund, or you can put this as an add-on like the library and they will make their case to the voters uh, like the library is going to do. So those are your options. If you're making their case to the voters though, are they specifically asking 
the voters to decide if it's allocated from the capital fund no. or is it added to no. the overall to the added to yeah, just like funds. the library okay so the way that number 12 reads i think that was confusing to me because and and it may just be that i was misinterpreting it that it's you know it's written correctly it's just Shall voters appropriate up to and we probably would want to use an additional so it's, and that's what i have to add the word i already have ten thousand that's in there yeah so okay that's so that's why, why you're so saying i have to add the word okay. additional cool. up to the recreation facility to so basically they voters would approve x amount of dollars to go to the capital fund specifically earmarked for space to escape park right and what we're discussing right now is as a select board, are we going to move money from, like, are we going to allow money to be moved from the capital fund for this and or include number 12? Right. So okay. you right. could do some. I just want to make sure I know what. <laughs> yeah, you could do some from, yeah. you could make, you could move some from the capital fund now and then make it less that they have to go to the voters or you give them. And the Whatever capital fund, yeah. that was the 81603 yeah. that you gave us last time? Yep. Okay. That's what's available in the rec. Yes. Capital so fund on, on the sheet you gave us last time, though, it says balance 109671. At the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the what's available in the reserve? Yep. Why well, you said 80? Account, uh, oh, that's as of September. Oh, okay. she's yeah, all right. Yeah. No. Yeah. So 109. November 29th. I was thinking it was 80. So if it says 109, that's, so that's happening. 109, 671. There you go. Thanks, Paul. Point seventy eight, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. But some of that 109 is specific money too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the skate park. Yep. The 50,000 is specifically right. theirs of the 109. So there's really only. It is, yeah, yeah because so the there's whole, really only like fifty nine. Yeah, because if you read the whole spreadsheet, yeah, you would see that it had their fundraising and their, you know, we kind of label all that very clearly as to who gets who's what. Um, so yes, so the land water conservation monies, the, the you know the monies under the batches in there as well as the all their fundraising money. So one week assume we spend all of the money put here what would be left in the, the capital so if there's 109 in there now and you're gonna 50 of it is already theirs plus so 53 so subtract 54,000 basically 55 would still be in there yep and then if you gave them an additional 30 out of that, then you'd be down to 25,000. Yep. But we'd be adding but, 10 in, to the budget. You'd be adding 10 to the budget. Yep. Right. And, and I think, and too, obviously, you know that the pool is going to be a, a very large fix. And we don't even, we won't know those numbers until over the winter. So we'll have a better handle on that and what we're going to do in the spring. Or yeah, maybe not so the spring. Good. I think so, I guess what I'm asking, <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is so if we put the 30,000 in there, however, if you allow them to, if you just say they can spend $30,000 from the existing capital fund, yep. And it's not enough. Yep then we still have funds in the capital fund that could be used. If you approved, yeah. But what they're saying is they'll scale back their project. Which is what they did last time. Yeah. They had this, you know, they had a certain amount of money and so they scaled back their project. Um, so they'll have a good handle on, you know, uh, concrete pricing and things like that. And they'll know their per square footage price from Mike, Michael, when they start, and um, they scaled back their project last year. They or last time they was conformed to their budget. We pretty much reduced the height of the features. Some some by only six inches, some by a couple of feet, and it, it allowed the amount of fill, the amount of rebar, the amount right. of concrete to be reduced enough that it it played nice with the amount of money we had had to work with. If we needed one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, we do. How many years at the rate that we've been getting money in the capital and federal aid? 
to back that amount. We at the rate you've been doing? 15 years. 15 years? 10, 15 years? We, we appropriate 10000 a year. About, now, it hasn't yeah. been like that every year. Some years we've appropriated 20 or 30. I think one year is 40. Yeah. Um, well, I'm I, thinking the same thing. Deplete it down to 25 or whatever. And something else happens that would require some of that money. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, we're going to start. We will be looking for any grants, you know, for the pool. And, and, and of course, we will. Yeah, grant you know. matches. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, we will have no choice. We're going to have to. Um, we're going to have to. And figure out what our, you know, what the fix is going to be. And, the, you know, and the town did have the opportunity to vote. And they did vote in the skate park in its original format, uh, the additional funds, you know, that were needed for what was it, 50 or 60,000? Uh, I forget what the number was. It was a pretty big number to launch. Yep. And they've been, all that park. money has been gone to. So one. are we better off allowing the taxpayers to decide if they want to put the, the additional money in for a phase two? You mean ask them for yes. 30,000? Yes. Okay. Getting very, very good support from the town. And they're they're supporting us mm -hmm. continuously. Yeah. Um and um they're using the park at least six months of the year. We have a very successful kick flip workshop every summer. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's um it's something that the, the town so that adds another so there's a good chance then that the voters would support if you went to town meeting and. But that's going to add another what cent and a half, a little bit more than the yeah the libraries. Right, yeah, yeah. just under a cent and a half. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So but it would be there. That puts us potentially over four percent. Yeah, but that's uh, also there. Oh, you'd be like you'd choices. be just under five percent well, if, if they added this. Did they ask at thirty? Yes. Yeah. We were just clarifying. Yeah. I mean, if they added the library too, you'd be so. If you five, add the library five and that, then it puts us at four and change. And and you so. like is and if you have any growth in the grand list, which we've seen, you know, it'll counteract some of that if you have. So playing devil's advocate. So let's say, let's say the board decides to put it on the warning to ask the voters for thirty thousand extra dollars, and the voters turn it down. So where does that put the recreational committee in? Because there is some grants that are tied to being, you know, mm -hmm. the one we just talked about has to be done by right. September or October of 2024. Then so, they would have 40, they'd have- So they would have 53- Say 54,000. Yeah, they're 200 shy. So they'd have 54,000. So let's say the voters and voted it have... down the extra money. And so you are back to $53,000. Where would we go from there to make that work? Like what would, would we- I mean, it's painful because you don't want to. It's be careful because you don't want to send back grants that you win because right. that can hurt you down the road. Right. Um. Yeah. So it's tricky, you know. what I mean, so I'm just trying to think. You know, if it didn't go the way you wanted, then how how uh, would would there be an opportunity to build something, use the grant, plus all the red tape that comes with it? And you would probably have a a year more worth of fundraising, maybe. Well, and borrow even Google fund and do a another letter of donation to the residents. I don't know. Because from what I'm looking at, let's assume, but yeah. on the low end, to do what you guys want to do is eighty one thousand dollars, right? So if the voters turn down the extra money, you got to come up with. $28,000 and and to be able to build it in time you kind of got to come up with $28,000 in about a year's time would right we can also build just two-thirds of that footprint instead of coming out 16 feet okay so that that's a portion of yeah what I'm getting at is yeah. it, are there still an option to use the grant with what you have and fulfill some of the obligations that come with the grant. Remember some of the accessibility pieces. The only but, thing, yeah, the only obligation is right here. It, it says that you have, uh, to have an accessibility, the right? The post skate park will be ex accessed by a concrete sidewalk and ramp meeting ADA requirements. 
The sidewalk will be installed from the existing handicapped spaces to the entrance apron of the park mm. as part of the park construction. So all they really, so they have to build this piece to get the 50,000. Right. And so basically, but as if I understand this correctly, Shane, that piece is also skatable. Yes. Yeah. It's it's minor. I, I think the more is the, uh, you know, mudroom entryway. Mm -hmm. People can stomp off their feet and then they're not damaging the sealant. Oh. On, on the rest of the park that was that was something michael parker was adamant about you know if we had the coin he's he'd recommend a full skirt of, of a sidewalk all the way around it so people can can get the dirt off their shoes before oh, uh, stepping onto the, the good stuff yeah. there's also nothing saying that if we're playing out the Chris's scenario that the voters turn down the appropriation they could come back and we could still choose to use some of the capital improvement money towards this and assuming they do fundraise right like there can be some sort of you could meeting right. in the middle it's not like that um, if they scaled back and they came back and said well okay how about 20 mm -hmm. you know a different number oh. right could they come back again i mean so you're you're saying more of like amending from the floor no no, no i'm you're saying, saying if the voters say no yeah you don't want to do it and then Coming back, back, back like the the come back, they'll scale down version and do a little right. more fundraising right. and end up only needing you know, right. a lower amount. They'd come back to the select board again and request that. So my question would be, if you're playing out for this scenario and the, and the town's folks don't do it, do you as a select board then say, so basically your constituents just said no, and then you're going to say yes later? Well, we've saying just they're saying no for your thing about right. Yeah, it's a different pool of money. It's well, Teresa, I think I think the difference to me is we're talking about additional money onto the budget versus yeah. money that already exists in a capital improvement yeah. fund, and and that is you, you're playing with different elements, and so it's a little unfair to compare them and say, well, the yeah. voters don't want this. It's not that the voters don't want the skate park. It's yeah, they, they don't want, want the additional money on the budget. So, and on the dialogue, right? What right. feedback is from town meeting, if that even happens, that, you know, they have always been supportive in the yeah. past. So there's a very, you know, my guess I mean, it'd be that they'll just get approved. And it could go either way. They could ask for 30 and somebody could amend it up to the 48 they need and somebody could amend it down to 20 or exactly. 15. You know, it, it, it really could, yeah, it could go any which way. way. You've, you've also got the library's request is going to be there too. So people don't see those two numbers. They like most other. Yeah. 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 I mean, it says it says to me that if, if this goes to the voters doing a presentation that really outlines here's what we're asking for, but actually here's what we're looking at so that people really understand that. Yes, yeah. I mean, you're drawing great when I saw it. You know, thank you for that, Shane and, and Kyle, because when I, I was like, I need visual aids, you know? So when I saw it, I'm like, okay, this, it, it looks cool. And it makes sense because I was trying to figure, you know, the space between there and the power line. And so the way that you came up with us, so but it, you know how, Ellie's pro with this. She knows how to do that. You can obviously you'll have a booth up for town meeting, and you can also. Um, yeah, and we've had skateboarders for town meeting. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we have, you know, Mr. Hubble would love it if they're just skating up and down the the gym floor. Right. That'd be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> and with you, lots of paper. So, so the image is good, and, and you can certainly, and they can, you know, some make that on Facebook and you know, all that stuff too. So, um, if that's what you decide, so. I mean, I know I'm leaning more towards putting it on the warning to ask the town's people for the extra funds. But I guess the reason why I'm thinking that is because right now we're going to have, well, big skateboard the park money out of the uh, capital fund. We have annual include the 10000 that we're going to put in the budget season. It puts us at like $59,000 that would be in that fund total. And if we do end up having to do something with the pool here in a year or two, typically if we do get a grant, it will ask for some sort of matching funds. For sure. So we want to say the pool is a $150,000 plus dollar adventure, you know, and we get a grant for, you know, 
75 to 100,000, we'd have to come up with 75 to 100,000. You know what I mean? It usually it's a 20. And, it could be a 50 match. It could be a, match, a, could be a yeah. So at least you have some money in that fund that you have towards matching funds. Yep. That's a good point. Well, on the other hand, instead of asking this year for the state fund, do we plan on using the monies that are there in the capital fund? And if when we know what we're going to need for the who, we then go to the town and say, here's a new a new project that we need to tend to. And do we ask it at that point? I mean that's yeah, another we keep asking and asking and asking. So you know, come along pretty soon we're gonna say, you know, I don't think that that wouldn't work for me as a citizen, okay? Because you can only ask me to reach in the pockets too many times for that kind of project, especially the size of these projects. Yeah. Okay, I want, we want, we want, I know it's a capital fund, but that came, the majority of that money already came from the taxpayers. Oh, sure, absolutely. They've already, they've already put that money. I'm not saying it the way I want them, but, uh, I think we should be careful, uh, careful about spending that that fund down beyond to the point that to fund this completely. I, I don't think we can do that. If we, I don't think we can spend the fund down that far. I think going going to the taxpayer for whatever that uh, sum you've got there on number twelve. Somewhere I don't have a sum because I, I was you know, yeah. I'm saying twenty thirty yeah. whatever yeah. something. And uh, let the, let the taxpayers on that day know what they're doing just for the state. And then they can they're spending yeah. their own money. Right. I mean, you could do that, and then you know, let's say they did vote it down, then we could come back here and figure out in the time frame what is the minimum amount that we can build and take advantage of the grant that we have, and maybe at that point, maybe it make it up. Maybe you ask for ten thousand dollars to be moved from one side to the other, which might be more doable, you know? Yeah, it's a better number to deal with out of the capital fund. But I get what Gene's saying too, yeah. eventually, mm -hmm. you're yeah. gonna have to ask um, at one, one time or another, here, right? So. Up asking for the pool anyway. Oh, sure, And Could if be. that's the case, it's gonna be a big, but it's going to be a big one. And it could be a five year note. I mean, we just don't know uh -oh. yet. But right. that's, yeah. that's my point no idea. is, if we're going to have to ask for the pool anyway. Mm -hmm. But I think that the challenge was. I understand. Yeah, it's a, it's a. When we put the, when we put the, um, the capital fund together for the, for the recreational facility, let's call right. it, it. It came with a plan, right? So I think in a lot of people's minds is, you know, we're going to do A, B, C, D, you know, and we haven't gotten through the whole alphabet yet. Yeah. And we're going back and we're going back to add on to one that that was already done. So I think in a lot of people's minds it was, you know, there was gonna be, you know, trails and skate park, pool upgrades, uh tennis oh, court sorry, sorry. or yep. Yeah. Tennis courts and stuff like that. So I think sorry. you know it, it, it but again, that was how many years ago did we take that? What is that? Years, what's the date years? on that thing? It's, uh, it was two thir 2013, yeah. and it was the pool house first, the pool yep. stuff first. But we did some of that with the FEMA funds. We got yep. lucky, yeah. and, and we were able to do some so of that the with the FEMA funds. Yeah. Yep. The skate park was next, and so now we're gonna we want to finish that. And we didn't anticipate that we'd have to go back to the pool because we did the pool stuff first. Right. I don't know. I don't think you're right. I think you got to separate the pool house from the pool. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not the same. Well, that's true. But we had to have new pumps and new whatever. Yeah. I was all cool too. Yeah. Yeah, it I was. Mean, when you redid you know, the whole pavilion. With yep. new, new pumps, new, new whatever we've been, you know. Um, through so FEMA, so that wasn't right. necessary. We got lucky. We've done a lot for the pool. Yeah, not not only just the pumps, but we spent a lot of money 
for but the pool. But it, not exactly, not the pool pool itself. We with, did not, yeah. With, well, right. with the- The pumps, yeah, in the building, right. And, yes. and the building and the coating, we had to do all, all the coating, three. that was 16,000. They have the gel. So, right. So we've been putting all our money mm -hmm. into the pool, mm -hmm. coating, pumps, I don't know how much of that was taxpayer. Um, whatever. Not a lot. Uh, yeah. A lot of a lot. I, I don't. I want to use percentages, but ninety percent of what went into the pool house and pumps and stuff were paid through the FEMA project. And yeah. We got we got extremely lucky on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was the only thing that went right. You yeah. know, during <laughs> during I, I mean, that was the only thing that went right is that helped. Yeah. But the, but the other thing too is the capital fund was. It was put in place just like all the other funds. Instead of going to the taxpayers and saying we need a hundred thousand dollars, we could put a little bit over time to build the plan, but also maintain the big stuff when it goes right. So all of a sudden, you got to regel coat the pool that you don't have in the budget. You have that money in your capital fund. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think just if you put it on the warning asking for that amount of money, I think uh, you get new accurate information on. The voters, I mean, well, I want to say 2014, but somewhere around there is when we had the first go around with the, yeah, we that's when they had gone to, in front of the voters with the addition for the skate park before, and it was ushered in pretty easily. So, you know, this could, they had asked for additional um, revenues the for the skate park. park. Was after 2014. Yeah, because I, I was here for that, and I wasn't here for 2013. Yeah, I was 14, I'm pretty sure it was that year. So I guess I'm going to make a motion. Well, I don't think we need to make any motions. Well, I just more. need to just tell me what you're putting on. Because I didn't get here until June of 14. So, so what does the board anyway. at this point want to do? Do we, do we want to put it on the warning? asking for additional funds or do we want to grant the request which is to move at a minimum thirty thousand dollars over earmark yeah ear thirty thousand yeah, i would i would lean towards putting it on the warning but not um not taking it off of our radar to come back and have this discussion based on what happens at town meeting you know come back to the capital fund should we need and then to. if so what would that are we talking about there Thirty thousand dollars is that? Does that seem to be the the number that? Because I, I see a thirty, and then it was a thirty-five was a 30 on the next 30, page. Oh, yeah, so. I didn't know. What did you? Where? I'm wondering if you see both of those numbers, though, the library and the and the pool, the library at twenty-seven. <coughs> excuse me, twenty-seven five, and then you see the pool at thirty. If we might be better off going a little bit less on the pool, so it's not as much of a stick of shock on the skate park. Um, yeah, a skate park. I'm sorry. Well, just remember too, what we have to talk about at town meeting day is that additional revenue to the library is not only a, an increase for this year, but it would be something that we would be putting in our budget going forward. So it would wouldn't be necessarily a one time hit. So that would be just kind of saying this is what we need to at least have the library funded at a minimum and. It would so, have to be sustained yeah. that way. So based on today's numbers, what do you need? 30? That's what you're asking for. But, but and with today's numbers, that's doable. Then we would work with the, the contractors and and work together. We, we, now remember somebody at town meeting they could say, you know, it could get voted down at 30 and someone could amend it for yeah, and that can be revoted, you know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, well, that's the benefits of the floor vote. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's what they're requesting. Well, that was what their request was. If you look at the one I put, yeah, that's what yeah, they I think they need. I would instead of comparing it with the library, I would rather look at this from like what what are the needs and what's the goal. Like, so what I'm looking at is if you ask for 30, we're still at a deficit of 18 to 19,000 which I know we, you can scale down the build, right? So that's an option, but from your perspective, is is 
thirty thousand enough that if you let's say no fundraising came through, you got zero extra from that. Could you scale back that eighteen thousand and make it go? Or you know, like what's the realistic number that you need to be asking for at, at this point to make this go, assuming no additional funds come in? No additional fundraiser. Company? Yeah, I feel like we could make it work with the thirty. Um, I have someone who's volunteered to potentially do site work, which would be a big chunk. That would be the sixteen thousand. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the sixteen. We would still that's, a, that's a nice volunteer. It is, and it's you know, it's a, that's a volunteer that's far in the future. It's six months away. Right. So I don't want to say that's a certain. Totally. Um, but if that followed through, we could absolutely build with the third. Even if you got a deal on someone donated some materials or you know, right. that's a few brand. I think I'd just rather look at it realistically for like what's the ask you need, you know, and maybe that's what's the minimum ask you need versus what's the ideal ask you need. We'd love to see the the forty eight thousand come through but that's maybe not realistic to ask the taxpayers is is thirty thousand realistic should it be 35 i don't know yeah if you said kyle gave me two pieces of paper yeah one said 30 one said 35. 30. yeah right but we got 16 oh okay i wasn't sure because he said that they were the size we had 16 as the, i got the actual quote for you right from dylan <clears throat> so it sounds like you want to go on the morning for thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Shane saying yes. Okay, you're all saying yes. And I think it would just be up to you, to somebody from the committee to be able to talk through that discussion. Yeah. On what that thirty thousand, like, um, Lindley was getting towards, is what does that actually get you? So you have a plan. So does that that get you the exact plan? A little better or a little yeah. worse? Um, I think would be you uh, know a little, a little thinking about uh, possible questions, so you have the answers right then. Okay. I don't gotta go look. I yep, this is what we're going to do. If we get this, if we get thirty five, this is what we're going to do. We only get twenty five. We can only do that. What, what you have it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd well, be good like, to have some yeah. drawings. Yeah. No, you're gonna have to talk at the someone's gonna have to talk at the podium. I normally do all the talking, but I I don't have I don't have enough knowledge of this one to wanna. Yeah, but if you get right. Shane or Kyle to do it, but I'm just saying any great. information like Dave would say, any information that somebody may question, okay. you won't be able to do it on a piece of paper because oh. you're gonna be in an open setting. You'll have to talk sort of yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So does that seem to be the consensus? Is the put on the warning additional funds of thirty thousand dollars that would be earmarked for the skateboard? Yeah, park? it says to the word the wording says to complete phase two of the skate park. So you'll be able to complete phase two of the skate park. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I warn yeah. it right. Like for you, okay. Because we probably the number one question that's going to be asked is how much, well, even though it's in the packet, how much is in the fund now? How much should be fundraised? Right? Those are going to be what's the cost? Of the be all that's going to be a lot of the big questions that yeah. are going to come at you. So that'll be in the town report. Well, what's the yeah, but it's still be yeah. asked, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> a lot of people bring their town report, but they have no. Yes, that's a good point. They ask yeah. questions that are answered in the book. That's be, a good point. They don't. <laughs> That's true. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, we also will have two budget informational nights, and usually we go through the warning too. So yeah, if there are questions, maybe they'll get out of the way on those two nights too. So yeah, and one of one of the things that I would encourage you to keep on that agenda is this is what it would cost us to do everything. What this is what it would cost us to do it all to do it. To, the way we had originally thought it would be. However, we are only asking for, we're only asking for uh, X number of dollars. Yeah, because somebody may move to give you more. I mean, you've seen it happen, Ellie. Like that's, yeah. I, or someone I, should be balancing the, the numbers and say, I don't really want to do it.
bring more intent. Yeah, you know, else else that I, either way, it's it's how much you're putting before the voters. How much are we going to scale back? Yeah, and just remember, this is. You know, because one of the big things we do have to talk about town meeting day is the potential to go to Australian ballot, right? And right. And these are some of the unique um, benefits of go of a floor vote is things can be talked through mm -hmm. and amended, as we've seen many, 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 many times before. So, yeah. you know, those are some of the uniqueness that we have of this town is because if you just threw it on an Australian ballot, you don't really get to speak to it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's a $30,000 yeah. and people are going to go to the polls and say, ah, I really can't afford that, you know? Yeah. But in an open yeah. forum also, with some yeah. conversation. Sometimes the people that only come to the town are not the young that want to speak. <laughs> True. Yeah. But if you, you're not, if you want to tell you about it, you're, if you got it, you would only get 30. So there's yeah. a whole opportunity right. to get more. Right. That's true. That's true. This part of the meeting is the proposed for Australian data. No, Not the only so, the only the only the election. Election. Right. Mm -hmm. So you know, All right. your point about about the max number to get the best thing we could get. Um originally we were trying to build a five thousand square foot skate park. This puts us Phase two, if we can build all we want, puts us at 26K, uh, sorry, 2,600 square feet. So it's still just a little over uh, half of our- Yeah, all, all of it is to simply say, let, in response to those who just think it's too much money, the fact is we're getting half of what we had originally. Right. So uh, that's, I just think that needs to be said out loud oh, to okay. the voters. I agree. Oh, okay. So then, that's awesome. It's very the part that puts electrical line. So we're scaling down anyway. You know, I don't know. 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 I do I don't know. 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 I do I Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah, Thank take you. care. Okay, so I do have a couple of things so I can update you on. Uh, let's see. Town manager's report. So I told you about, I didn't write one for this because we just met last week, but just to let you know, as so we talked about the international um to have the have that work done and um also too to let you know that the equity and inclusion committee grant for ten thousand dollars was approved so i was able to owen's clapping i i was able to so i emailed owen the other day and told him to spread the word um so i haven't seen the grant agreement yet it's probably out there i just have to read about it so i haven't had a chance with the storm um so then just to update you a little bit about the storm so Obviously, we're going to leave the hall open again tonight because there are still some residents without, um, you know, possible without shelter. We did have a couple people come in today to charge electronic devices and things, and they're saying it's like BYOB, bring your own blankets because mm -hmm. we don't have cots here. We did, um, I did have Kelly get a hold of John Hubble and tell him that whoever is plowing a school needs to. Um, you know, access to the stop, box. you know, to let us get access to the box. He said that they hadn't put it out to bid yet. So a parent volunteer has been plowing them. Yeah, they, they're so backwards. So I'm, I don't know what's happening. They have it on our thing for tomorrow night to approve the winter maintenance. I'm like, <laughs> well, again, tomorrow night, we don't even have it on there to even talk about the warning still. So like, 
Look at Dave. He's like, tell me all about it, son. The next meeting won't be until Never January. Jan <laughs> the next meeting won't be until January seventeenth when we start to talk the about the box you're talking about is the lock box. This is the yeah yeah, yeah the conic yeah. box. So it's back. open now. Um, and so that so John um did go out and apparently he got open and I said I'll send somebody, but no, you're talking about the storage. The storage. Yeah. Oh, the box you're talking. About. Yeah, because they were. Oh, okay. It was being plowed in. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm like, I no. sent you the other day. yeah. So I had Kelly I call talking. and tell him. So whoever. Well, the other thing we could do is post a big sign on there, emergency, because yeah. nobody you don't know that it's. No, has anything to do with emergency shelter. So yeah. he did like a nice sign on there. Be like, do not block or yeah, yeah. something like well, that. People were yeah. parked in front of it today, so I went over and it was blocked with snow and two cars. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, because well, the side entrance there. Yeah, yeah. So I'll make a note or signage. I'll I'll bring it up tomorrow. Yeah, at the meeting, anyways. Yeah. Plus, I'll bring up the um, um, the just commitment when you do that. Yeah. And and I did get an email back from Andra. When you do that, though, just don't. If you permanently attach it to the door, then well, we just have to paint around it. You know. Yeah, right. But, but, they're going to be we'll do it now if, in the winter. We'll if, wait until after it's if you've been over there, there's like two or three other Connex boxes right. that are on the corner there. Those yep. are going to be going bye bye. Yeah. So they may just strategically move yours into a better location there. Can, can, so one of those can, shades. Can we? Can we have can one of those? We have one of those? Huh? Yeah, Our Connex box is not good shape. Yeah, because they talked about um, they purchased the Connex boxes through. They love. I don't know. I want to say through some sort of um, COVID funds or something. Yeah. Um, but now I have no use for them. So um, I did actually. I did. Um, it wasn't at the school meeting, but it was through my. Um, we're upgrading the furnace and heating and all that in that building mm -hmm. next year so during that i had asked what are you going to do with these and i think they were they were going to go see if they could sell them and i was like well ours doesn't we need one ours has rats in it so oh, yeah can we, can we have it's rotting yeah, or can, can you donate it or yeah so yeah they they, they got a bunch of those they're like four of them that they yeah, bought with if, COVID maybe, funds yeah. or something. Well, we, would, deal. we would they like one of those and all that stuff yeah. so yeah so i had told you that obviously you knew that the road crew was down two trucks they've got the grader out they put the wing on it today um so they're going to do the sidewalk or sidewalks they're going to clean downtown tonight yeah. um they have, um, like I said, we have a new employee. He was, you know, trial by fire, but uh, Curtis was doing, you know, doing a good job learning the route. Richard helped him out. He was doing sidewalks and the sidewalk plow. Um, so, um, you know, it was just, uh, and some of the roads were the fact that if there were trees down in power lines, then they, there was a couple places where they couldn't open the full amount, full part of the road or some of the road, but today they should have had everything open and of course they were waiting for gmp to backtrack some of it so um you know so, overall <clears throat> people we didn't i didn't get any complaints about the roads i uh, actually have only received you know compliments really which is frankly not so as far as the storm that's coming friday mm -hmm. i know i know we have as the town has been doing a good job of getting information out there and i know what we have yeah. limited capabilities but yeah. If we haven't already, can we start blasting that information about tomorrow? <clears throat> you know, and I would specifically target like you know, if you live on a dirt road that is packed with you know snow right now, it's yeah. going to be icy. Like, like there's literally nothing that we can do about those roads when it's raining. I mean, you can spread sand on them, but five matter. minutes later, it's gone. It so, is. It washes off. So. Like just maybe just getting people thinking about Friday might be a stay at home day. You know, we did that um, for, I did that to Saturday before this last one for two days, we pushed yeah. on front porch forum and Facebook and still had people caught yeah. with their pants down. But um, yes, if you live out of the village, you know, secondary heat is, but I would specifically target, things. like if you live sure, on the back road. roads, like yeah, I mean, the main be, roads aren't going to be pretty either. I mean, it's, they're going to be, a no, but at least they're gonna paved work, but... and salt will chew it. But yeah. mm -hmm. if That's it's raining, it's going to be, it's going to be really, it's just going to be ice yeah. out there. And it's going to be tough yeah, for people if they are just getting their power back tomorrow to then possibly be out again. 
So I heard it was supposed to be, last time I heard it was supposed to be 40 during the day. Uh, it's going to come in. No. I'd heard 40, but going to come in as rain. The snow sounds like it's going to stay south of us, and then it's going to get colder overnight. So it's going to flash, it's all gonna freeze, ice. Yeah. It's gonna all ice over, and then snow. So good. So Christmas it's going to be nasty Christmas. Friday night. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, well, but yeah, did anybody Friday. have any questions, okay. comments, concerns about road issues that you heard? Um, that, okay. All right. And select board meeting minutes from the 12th, long time ago. <laughs> Early last year, but not. Yeah, right. Right. The motion to be accepted is written. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. And then other communications we had the um, recreational committee was on there, the energy committee had. A spot in there if I remember right. I think I'll do only two. Uh, so our next select board meeting will be January 9th. So it'll be the 9th and the 23rd. So I just got to ninth and the 23rd. And at 6 30 of course. So right. Any other business to come before the board? I'll just report mm -hmm. that I attended the uh, uh, Two Rivers meeting. Oh, day nice. Had a good time. Oh, good. Thank you for doing that. I know. You can make up stuff to talk about. Like, <laughs> stick it Keep you around. He said two hours was his limit, so we got half an hour. Half an hour to kill. <laughs> and Dave's like, you, you've had a busy day. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All right. Have a good night, everybody.